Hello everybody, this is Minecraft here and welcome to episode 10 of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And in this episode, I'm planning to actually go to the Nether. And uh, I've actually saw, thought this through very carefully because um, at first I was thinking that I'm I was going to make like a farm or go or or go explore more villages or start trading with villages. But I came to the conclusion that the best thing that I would do right now is actually going to the Nether because um, I'm going to use this iron ingot to make. Um, to make a tripwire hook uh, so that we could use string to make infinite obsidian and we'll actually cast the portal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to construct um, something like this structure for every single block that we cast um, now we need about we need 10 blocks to cast is that correct one two three four yes uh, normal um, the minimum amount of obsidian required for a portal is 10 blocks, and as you can probably hear by that sound, I've got a chicken, so uh, a chicken jockey spawned in the grinder, so I decided to make this enclosure right here. Uh, you probably noticed that I also p poured the lava right here, and I made sure to place these blocks right here to make it completely foolproof. I can fall in the lava in case I do, and believe me, it did happen to me before, so uh, it's great to do that. And as you can hear, there's... Um, there's some bats inside here, and ore is probably inside there, I don't know. So what I did is I basically built a bulk storage facility. Um, it cost me about a stack of... It cost me almost a whole stack of wood to actually make this much um, chests, but this is where most of my... Uh, this is where my... Um, my bulk mob drops will be stored, and the reason that I did that is just... Um, not that I have so much mob drops that I actually already need bulk storage. It's just that... Oh, that was just... Yep, that was just my speaker. Oh, crap. Yeah, anyway, so apparently my speaker just started spazzing out there because I accidentally stepped on the uh, AUX cord. So, uh, like I said, it's not that I really need bulk storage. I mean, I am. the reason I did it is because I'm kind of running out of storage right now. So... Uh, looks like our first items that are actually going to be going inside the bulk storage section is going to be bones and gunpowder. I'm planning to share the bones and the string, so... Um, so, yeah, looks like I'm going to real go run real quick. And wow, it's night by that time, so... Uh, wait, the rotten flesh for some reason, put that down. Um, so over right here is probably where my... Gunpowder is going to be held. That's I'm going to have a bunch of gunpowder because I have no use for gunpowder. I can't even make fireworks in gun uh, in uh, super flat survival because I don't have paper because I don't have um, sugar cane. So the only use for gunpowder would be to make a uh, splash potion. So um, I might even if I fill up these three chests full of gunpowder, I'm eventually going to have to build a special redstone thingy that pours up. Uh, puts uh, junk items into lava, or I'm just going to use the gunpowder for the junk items for my um, AFK cobblestone generator, and uh, like I said before, if you haven't seen the video tutorial on that, please do, because it's a great design that I invented, so, um, so yeah, right, here's my gunpowder, where it's gonna be, that's where my bones and string is gonna be, and the reason I I'm going to have bone and string is because these are the drops that I use most often, or maybe I should just put string with um, with the rotten flesh, because rotten flesh is very useful for trading with villagers, and I don't think I will have that much of it either, so, anyway, uh, so I really, really hope this is going to work, I'm going to use this only iron ingot that I currently have, that I found in the village, to make a tripwire hook, well, actually, two tripwire hooks, and make an obsidian nether portal, so, I was actually planning to get more iron from the mob grinder just so, uh, by making it into uh, an XP grinder so that I could one hit kill the zombies and just farm iron. But that didn't work out too well as we know because, uh, well, the creeper exploded and it just got all messed up. So that just really sucked. Um, so yeah, I think this is on the bottom of bones. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that all off camera, so. And let me just kill that bat because it decreases uh, the spawn rates. And I, I'm not gonna get much spawn rates during the nighttime anyway, so I could just ignore the grinder for the while. 
Um, so this is the crafting recipe for, okay, I need to get some planks. Um, so this is the crafting recipe for the tripwire hook. I think it's like this, but if it's not, yep. There it goes. There goes nothing. So now we have two tripwire hooks, and I'm going to use them to... I need some string to create obsidian, infinite obsidian. I'm going to have to get some string from my handy mob grinder here. Okay. Oh, so it goes like that. So maybe I should do this then. Will this work now? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a lava source up there. I think I'm going to cover up this area too just to make sure that it doesn't go there. So right here I'm going to be standing and place a lava right there. And I actually don't know where my other bucket went. So that's a bit worrying. Oh, there we go. Here's another bucket. So I'm going to go and get my... Oh, let me just take this, some carrots from here because I'm running a bit low. Um, so like I said, I'm going to go and grab a lava source from here, and we're going to make a whole portal, and we're not only going to make a whole portal, we're, and we're not only going to make a portal, I'm actually going to cast a whole portal out of well, just one lava bucket, so, uh, usually I cast portals out of ten lava buckets when I don't have uh, a diamond pickaxe to collect, um, obsidian, but right now I don't have ten lava buckets, and I don't have... Um, a pickaxe, a diamond pickaxe, so here goes nothing. Let's hope that it works. Uh, and just for our safety, just let's go like this to make sure that it doesn't really spill out anywhere. Um, and at first it did look like it did not work, so that's a bit worrying. Maybe I should place the second tripwire hook there just to make sure that it... Uh, maybe that way it will work better, so... Yeah. So when I hear that thingy go... Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it did not work, so... That's just great. And if it destroyed our tripwire hook, that's just going to be even better, because I just wasted iron. Oh. Oh, crap. Well, yeah. This was a total failure, so. That did not go as planned, so. Looks like we're not going to access the nether anytime soon. I probably should have hooked it up to both tripwire hooks as well. I don't know which my chances are greater discovering more iron or actually um, or actually getting 10 um, actually 8 more lava sources for a uh, full casted portal so well I was really expecting to go to the nether in this episode so that's a bit disappointing. Uh, let's see if our chicken laid an egg at least, and no, that hasn't happened yet, so... Looks like we have been quite unlucky in the past... In this past episode, so... Let me just place a strip wire hook in here, which I will totally not need. Um, and that is quite unfortunate, I was really hoping that we could go to the nether, so... Yeah, well, it was at least a try, so... So, the next thing that I'm probably going to do is I'm going to collect more redstone. And here's another thing that I could do. Uh, I could just wait until I get more redstone from the grinder. And then instead of using the tripwire hook, I could just use the redstone for the um, casting of the portal. So, um, And as far as redstone builds goes, I'm not really sure what I should put first priority. Should I put redstone as a first priority? Should I put... Uh, cobblestone generator as a first priority. So for a cobblestone generator, I will need nine uh, redstone dust. For um, a cast nether portal, I will need um, ten redstone dust. For one of these thingies, I'll probably need about about uh, about around twelve or fifteen redstone dust. So. I think my first priority when I reach 9 redstone dust, so I'm going to have to have 8 more redstone dusts. So, um, 
when I get eight more redstone, uh, I'm going to make an AFK cobblestone generator just so I can make more cobblestone because I have many plans for a cobblestone um, for builds that require cobblestone because one of my one of my goals in this let's play is to build a really really tall structure that goes up to Y60 or so I think it's Y50 or so and that's where I'm going to build a large pool in which I will fish and I think I'm going to build it up there so I'm going to use this ladder to get up there so and also the reason this is because I want to get squid spawns so I could get ink sacks just because I want to obtain every single obtainable item in this um, let's play and one thing that I can obtain in this let's play is actually get squids to spawn because um, squids can spawn at a certain height if I make a large water pool there and they can't spawn up there so as you can see we're actually very quite low I mean it it looks like we're very high up and wow that's so beautiful and you can see the structures that I built there so like I said it actually does seem that we're quite low I mean that we're quite high up but this is actually only Y41 and I think I'll have to go about 10 blocks or so higher and then build a large pool there um, in order to have squid spawnages and I think the thing and I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have a platform going out there is because just in case if I want to build a second layer for this grinder so that this pool won't interfere in so that's what I think I'll do and also airspace is very expensive for me well I mean it's very valuable for me in this enclosed area because I'm going to build a lot of aerial structures if you know what I mean uh, I'm going to have a lot of mob grinders, some uh, iron iron farms, uh, some uh, villager breeders that will be in the air up there so what's going to happen is that eventually I think I'm going to run out of space where to build in the air and on the ground so I'll build a platform that goes up here so I think the the aerial lake will be somewhere here and that's where I'm going to farm some uh, ink sacks and stuff like that they're not that useful but I'm also planning to make an automatic fish farm and using my automatic fish farm I will be able to gather leather and then using leather I will be able to get um, leather armor which means AFK leather armor uh, of course I will get very minuscule amounts of leather even from like 24 hours of AFKing from uh, fishing and if some of you don't know actually you can get a bunch of really cool stuff from leather you can get um, enchanting books you can get leather you can get bottles a bunch of cool stuff you can get lily pads so that's what i'm planning to do too um and uh with ink sacks and leather i can probably make some writable books which will be another thing that i could do and sounds like something's on fire and it's okay because this is not going to light up my bed so uh, one thing that I was actually planning to do is I was actually going to cover this whole area with a rug, but then I thought that I probably should not do that because the lava could burn the whole rug, and that's going to suck very much. So, um, This was quite a short episode, I think, or at least it felt like it. Uh, we were not able to get what we wanted, and wow, we got some more witches. Now let's farm. I just crossed my fingers that... Oh, did we just get slowness? So, yeah, I think we got just, yeah, we got some slowness. Well, at least it's not poison, so. Um, so, I really hope that we're going to get some redstone from these witches because I really do need the redstone. Oh, I can see one piece. I can see one piece. Oh, oh, no, we got some, we got some uh, sticks from that one. Okay, please drop redstone. Please drop redstone. Oh. Okay, yeah, now I'm going to have to regen for a bit from this poison. That's going to last a few more seconds. Um, now let me kill off some spiders here. I think we only got one piece of redstone, which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's bad, but, um, I would have preferred more, so. And as you can also probably see, I have got now, um, five glowstone dust is because I actually found, um, a witch that spawned far, far away over there, and I decided to go and kill it, and I also got some sugar from it. And if anyone who plays Minecraft knows that, if I have five glowstone dust, I can make a glowstone block. So that's actually quite an achievement for us. Our first glowstone block. That's very great. So this uh, this mob grinder is surely paying off. And now I'm thinking, where should I actually put the glowstone block? I think that I'm going to put it somewhere. I actually really don't know. I really don't. Um... I should put it somewhere special, somewhere that 
is really useful, so... I think I'm gonna place it right here, yeah. Or, I don't know, or it might get blown up by a creeper, so, I don't know. Uh, or I could place it somewhere right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna place it right here. And it's gonna sound epic. Yeah, there we go, glowstone. And eventually, when I get more glowstone, when I go to the nether, I'm planning to... Um, instead of having all of these blocks up here, and the reason I have them up here is because if I place solid blocks here, then the chest won't be able to open. So when I get glowstone, I'm going to place glowstone here, and since glowstone is a transparent block, it will be able to open up, and it will look really sick. So um, I'll also replace some of the torches that I have with glowstone. I'm probably going to place some more glowstone, probably somewhere in the middle here, just so it would look awesome uh, for my storage area. I'm gonna put some glowstone around these trees over there. Um, so in off camera, what I'm probably going to do? Oh, I actually forgot to deconstruct this little bridge right here. This is, I think, where I found a spider or something that I wanted to kill, and I made a little bridge here. So, um, like I said, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm probably going to generate some more cobblestone, uh, so I can, so I can. Um, build some more structures or or just or just general cobblestone because this is the only cobblestone that i have uh in the next episode i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some rotten flesh from my uh chest over there and i have gotten quite a bit of rotten flesh so i could go and trade with the villagers maybe i could get um if i get very lucky i might get um a diamond pickaxe and and then we would be able to build an another portal much more easily um so yeah, thank you very much for watching. This is my Kralix. Um, see you all in the next video.